I'm Shahira Fauzi. I am an Egyptian fashion designer, anthropologist, who spent most of my life in the desert. And uh, when I grew up, I decided to retire into uh, doing something that I was doing for fun before, which is designing and jewelry making. Um, and I am telling the story of my memories um, that I saw in the deserts of the Middle East area. And I do my own, in the desert, I learned to make my own textile by weaving uh, I didn't have much to buy, so I had to do my own thing. So we began to draw and print, hand print on uh, textile cotton. And when I came back to the city, there was no reason to change. I knew the techniques of no electricity. So my uh, line is very well known in the whole Arab region for being natural cotton hand woven and all handmade and all made from natural colors and natural fabrics. The line started in uh, 1998 as a not professional thing, but uh, just an art. In uh, 2005, uh, we became, we, the Middle East decided that they wanted to buy our things and the company started expanding. I wanted a small boutique and then slowly, slowly it grew without my realizing. Uh, we sell to most of the uh, royal families of the Middle East, uh, most nearly all the royal families of Arabia, uh, the Shah of, uh, wife of the Shah of Iran, Farah Diba, the wife of the kings of Saudi Arabia, the um, Emirates, uh, and uh, it be, it, it's just a trend that took over, became a fashion in the Arab world and some Middle East countries. Our, in the process we began to export to Europe, in uh, Maison et Objet, we go in uh, Milano, we started in years, later years to add to the jewelry and the dresses, home fabrics and sofas and things. So now we are selling, uh, Bloomingdale's is selling our things. Uh, Cannes, people's boutique in the Croisette, the, the, where they do the um, film festival. Uh, um, Fragonard, uh, which is a big, uh, an ancient uh, shop in France that has shops in Paris, uh, Cannes, Nice, uh, Monte Carlo. Um, also, I have my own boutiques in City Stars and in uh, uh, Four Seasons, uh, Bayman in Cairo. And uh, I have now uh, given franchise to Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. It's a very, very big shop, doing furniture and glasses. And, uh, and this is not my first time in Catania. I've come to Catania uh, three or four times. I was invited as one of the um, well-known uh, Mediterranean designers, uh, first just as businesswoman. And then I got invited to the first Catania fashion show in 2013. And um, slowly, slowly we took a liking to this issue and I'm hoping now to make an agreement with Catania, uh, the Harim Academy, to bring this to, the, to Egypt and to have a second uh, fashion show in Egypt. And in, in due time, I hope that this will grow and uh, become in Tunisia, Turkey, France, Spain, Italy. It's, it's a nice concept, a nice idea. Instead of always talking about, you know, uh, terror and things like that, we are also talking about art. Our people from the news are beginning to think our countries are not safe when our countries are totally safe. It's maybe something like a very small town, seven hours away from where everything is going on. But uh, you know, concentrated news make people think that life is not the same. But we come from countries with a lot of culture and a lot of art, and I am my collection is telling the story. This is Description d'Egypte that was drawn by uh, the Napoleon uh, culture artist who came with him in the 1790s. And I'm describing it, took it out of the books and I'm putting it, I was reading only books in the desert, no television, no magazines. So the books I loved, I tell the story. And uh, I'm doing also the calligraphy of, ancient calligraphy of Persia and, and Egypt, uh, but doing it with songs in other dresses. I'm also, this season I am doing Adorned, which is the jewelry of the deserts. All the deserts, all the way from, from the beginning of the Middle East to the end of the Western deserts. The charms, the bracelets, the things drawn on the dresses. 